This one is for Keitha Lakalowitz. I think I might be butchering that, but this one's for you and your question about gut, liver enzymes, gut dysbiosis, insomnia, fatty liver, all these things and what you should do basically like kombucha. You mentioned a lot of stuff in there and I want to take a step back because this is really, this is the most useful thing that I can give you right now based on where I think you're at. So why don't you take a step back and just stop consuming things for the most part, like let's say you're consuming caffeine. Um, I don't know what drugs you're consuming on a regular basis in detail. You didn't tell me in detail. I'm not going to make too many assumptions, but in general, I'm not going to say go off of your drugs because that could be dangerous. I'm not going to say, I mean, first of all, talk to your doctor, or whatever. I mean, like go do your own research. This is just some theoretical advice. So if you're on medications that you can't stop immediately without serious side effects, then either decrease the dose, wean off the dose, take the regular dose, whatever you feel in your body is best. Really though, like I want you to like get in touch with your body, like stop theorizing too much about like what one thing is gonna fix it. Cause it's not a thing out there that's gonna fix it. It's something in here. It's something with your body's process and your body is a process. It is not just a singular thing. So part of our body's process is that we circulate water. So go get some spring water and just start having periods where you just drink a lot of water and you go for a walk. And if you can have periods where you fast, I would recommend as quickly as possible, you stop consuming all sorts of processed foods, anything fried in seed oils specifically. It's the seed oils you have to watch out for. Tallow, butter is fine. And based on your, what you feel in your body, you may respond best to, but I mean, really be a little analytical here after a little bit of fasting and stuff. And you could start with a fruit cleanse. You could just start by eating only fruit for a day, two days, three days, a week, fruit and raw milk, fruit, raw milk, and yogurt, fruit, raw milk, yogurt, and eggs, raw milk, yogurt, and eggs, raw milk, yogurt, eggs, and ribeye, only ribeye, whatever sort of digestive friendly, digestive focused, simple, easy to digest foods that can quickly move through your stomach that make you feel good, refreshed and nourished. Whatever patterns alternate between these things, alternate cyclic keto, not cyclic keto, fasting, large amounts of green tea are very, very, very helpful. Green tea for dysbiosis, holy cow, is life changing. Take little bits of chlorella while you're fasting with green tea. Take little bits of chlorella with your meals. Experiment with these sorts of things. But first of all, the ironclad rule is you have to stop eating toxic stuff. If you're on these drugs, maybe they're helping you, maybe they're not, talk to your doctor. But don't look to the drugs for salvation. The drugs are not gonna save you. The drugs are just gonna push you in various directions if your body even has the capacity for that. Like, if I give you a drug that increases some liver function, then that can, drug can only help you if your liver has the capacity to engage in that function. The same way if I give you 200 milligrams of caffeine, if your brain just can't, doesn't have the wherewithal and nutrition to stay awake, it won't stay awake. It, the caffeine just triggers a latent potential if the latent potential is there, it's all drugs do. This is why TRT and steroids are silly and they're gonna backfire and all these people are taking TRT now. Oh my God, it's gonna be a nightmare in years to come. But anyway, um, Christopher Walker has great work on rehabbing your testosterone naturally. But anyway, though, you need to rehab your gut. You need to give your gut a break from the foods that are causing dysbiosis. You need to heal your gut with foods that are going to cause healing at a deep level. And you need to ultimately encourage, one thing, this is a quick tip. Encourage the quick movement of food through your gut. You want food to move fairly rapidly through your gut, provided it's getting digested. So that's basically the rule of thumb is food should move as quickly through your stomach as possible, providing it's getting digested. And one tool, if you have absolutely horrible digestion, caffeine, magnesium glycinate, I, this is what I use in green tea. I use magnesium glycinate or mag, various forms of magnesium as a natural laxative. Caffeine in the form of green tea or low dose caffeine pills or even higher dose, so I tolerate those well, but very sensitive to that and dose progressively. I mean, you don't want to like overdose yourself on caffeine or anything. You don't want to, you want to use these things very intelligently. 
I'm introducing you to a variety of ideas. Let me know in the comments which ones you resonate with, which ones you want me to talk about more, and I'll make more instructional videos and like how specifically I and clients and people I know use those things. But basically, though, you have to start thinking of your gut as a system from mouth to anus that's populated with bacteria that produce enzymes that break down your food. That system is broken, so you need to heal the bacteria, heal the system, heal the gut lining, heal the environment, detox whatever's in there. If there's crud lining in your gut, chlorella is really helpful with that, green tea is really helpful with that. I wouldn't do anything more than that besides that intermittent fasting. Drinking water, you'll feel the stuff dying off and you drink the green tea and the endotoxin kind of chills out. You'll get tired progressively and that'll heal the insomnia because the gut is crazy, I'm still healing my gut. But by thinking of your gut this way, your gut will heal and healing your gut will take years, years. But if you're sensitive and you're attentive to your gut and you're attentive to these principles that I'm mentioning right now, then you will have a good time while you're doing that. I'm healing my gut. My gut completely shut down earlier this month because of magnesium stearate in these zinc supplements, which is just literally why I made sleep minerals, zinc, gluconate, magnesium glycinate, Himalayan pink salt, calcium ascorbate, link down below get it if you want to but literally like the magnesium stearate and the zinc supplement shut down my digestion digestive system completely and precipitated insomnia puking is a nightmare but i feel great right now and the reason i feel great now is because i'm doing the stuff i literally just told you about so go do that stuff let me know that works in the comment section below peace subscribe for more